these are the Bayat um, Philips um, TV speakers from Parts Express with the uh, pass radio on the back. Um, two little woofers and a tweeter on the front. I uh, bought a couple of these and I was thinking about testing them out and then maybe trying to build a little uh, MTM design with these drivers in a nice cabinet. Um, I just listened to uh, listened to them briefly and uh, they don't sound too bad or this particular one doesn't sound too bad. Um, I bought two, but I didn't hook the other one up yet. Uh, I did notice that the that the passive radiator uh, this was really moving a lot. The bottom half, the top half didn't look like it was moving so much. I don't know if this one is wonky or they're all like designed funny or what, but it seemed like a lot more movement down here than up here. Uh, and there's a glue point, uh, two glue points in the middle. Okay. So, what do we got here? That's unfortunate. Super unfortunate. And the uh, So here's, here's how things look. So these were glue points uh, that are some sort of connection point that had these snapped off. Uh, there was, I think, some, some glue along the edges of the seam. Um, so I'm wondering, this, I think this was the, I think this was the one that sounded funny. Yeah, this is the one that sounded funny. Um, maybe, maybe this was against the uh, against the radiator. Um, in any case, it looks like the radiator is just glued in there, and uh, I imagine it'd be pretty tough to get it out there without destroying it. So, I'm probably not going to use that again. Um, not a bad little terminal. Um, so this is the real bummer that the the tweeter completely fell apart. Um, so. 
don't know if this was... I, th I guess the, the motor is just... The magnet was just uh, glued on top of the diaphragm. But that sucks because I don't think I'll be able to reuse this guy. I guess I could try to glue it back together, but I don't see that happening. Oh. And... I guess that's ferrofluid, maybe? Where I'm bleeding? Uh, so let's machine. So here is the uh, here are the woofers. Here's the uh, eight watt, eight ohm. For comparison, this is the peerless um, buyout two inch driver. So they're uh, comparable size. Uh, this actually has a, looks like it's got a bigger surround, so m looks like it has more throw, maybe, uh, at least mechanically. Um, so, Peerless has its stacked magnets. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, the other question I had was, what sort of crossover was in here? That's the other thing I wanted to see. So, um, I'm going to find out in a minute. Trim rings here go around the woofers. So these woofers are probably going to have to be rear mounted, and they got these weird flange. So take some work to make them look nice, similar to the, the Peerless, which I'm aggravated. It's the front here is really ugly. Um, so similarly, these guys probably be rear mounted but it's kind of nice that they have this offset so you could rear mount them and have a little space thickness in the wood still for uh, for the screws and I think I just found the crossover I can't tell I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it out, but it's like a single capacitor. And I don't think I'm going to get it out. I would have liked to grab it and have it, <laughs> but that's going to be tough. Glued in there. Okay. Uh, so that uh, looks like 
is a 2.2 microfarad capacitor. Um, and it's a little closer look at the uh, tweeter voice coil and dome, uh, which unfortunately this guy came off of. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen on all of them. Um, I don't have the time to take the other one apart right at the moment, but that's kind of the gist of what you get with these things. It's the uh, okay, it's the Phillips three one four one one three zero 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 two zero one uh, right uh, TMM two way LCD TV speaker module special price of nine dollars and seventy four cents. So, uh, if the tweeter did not explode, you could get uh, all the drivers for a pair of MTMs for uh, 20 bucks, and then um, a little bit of crossover design, maybe get super, super cheap crossover, and I was hoping to come up with a design that was like under 50 bucks. Um, this is really going to hurt the team now if, uh, if these tweeters are all coming apart when you touch them. So I will uh, have to take this guy apart at some point. Um, See if I can quickly do it just to see what the tweeters are like. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to take apart. You just drill a hole through the through the uh, side there that fits the screwdriver. It defies it a lot. Okay. All right. Well, this tweeter didn't explode, so that's good. Unfortunately, the tweeter leads are soldered, so but that's what the tweeter looks like. Um, so that, I guess, would be a rear mount or a sandwich mount candidate. Might be kind of tough to use that. Um, but for 10 bucks, you get, at the very least, you get two of these mid drivers, which, um, what are the pure like that? So the peerless two inch buyout drivers are six eighty seven a piece. So uh, um, yep. two comparably sized drivers for ten bucks instead of uh, thirteen or fourteen bucks. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Um, they're both maybe equally challenging for mounting. These might be a little bit easier to mount. 
uh, without having to see this stupid ugly basket flange thing. Um, but maybe I'll, I'll do some individual driver testing uh, and then have an idea of uh, design. So, uh, maybe I'll make a part two if I have time. Oh, thank you.